To work with patterns inside of Studio One, super easy to do. All you do is you grab an instrument, load it up. I wanna focus on drum sequencing, so I'm gonna be doing it with Impact. We just drag it, put it down. And once we have our track and we've selected it, and it should be by default, just hit Control Shift P. This puts a pattern down for you. You can also go to events and then insert pattern, but just learn control shift P. Trust me, it's super worth it. Okay, so here we can go into our pattern editor. So you just double click it. And since I'm using impact to do this, I have to load some sounds up. I'm just gonna load a drum kit up. So here we go, we've got our drum kit going and it's been updated accordingly. And I can begin to place notes down. We'll get into more details as we go, but I just wanna get you up and running as fast as possible. So I can place notes. So this is 16th notes as it's set right now. Our resolution is 16th notes and our steps, we have 16 steps. So I'm gonna place down a kick on the first beat, the end of the second beat, and then maybe two more right here. And for the snare, let's just put a snare here and here. Oh, it's kind of a dumb snare. Do I have a better snare? Whatever, I'm just gonna run with it for now. And let's find ourselves a, a, sure, why not? So here we've got a quick fill option. So you can click and drag to place notes down and you click them again to get rid of them. Uh, but there's actually a quick fill. So with this channel selected, with this pad selected, I can hit any of these up here to fill them up. For example, just do the downbeats. I can do eighth notes or I can do 16th notes or whatever the resolution of your, your grid is set to. So now if we play it, <laughs> that sounds like hot garbage. Let's, uh, let's fix this up a bit and put that there. And we also have the ability to add some swing here. I figure we'll do a little bit of that. So we'll add some swing. And while we're here, I'm able to accent different hi-hats. So for example, I can control and then click and then add an accent to some of these. So I'm gonna put an accent here and an accent here. And I'm also going to increase the accent from 30 to uh, around 50, why not? And we get those ones are, are slightly louder. So you just control click to do that and your drumstick turns into something with a little fire coming off of it. Uh, but there we go, maybe he's hitting it harder so you can see the air, okay? So that's accent. If you're big on playing in, you can actually put this in record and, and tap it in while you're playing back if that's your more of your style. But if you're using this, probably not much your style. Uh, now, if you wanna create additional patterns or maybe create duplicates of this or brand new ones, you need to come over to this little eye, click that, and in here, you've got your inspector for your patterns. You can add new patterns, which are totally blank, or while you're here, you can duplicate a pattern. And you see, now we've got a duplicated pattern. We can rename it. We'll call it dank1. Spelled with an I. Dank spelled with an I. Dank? I don't even know anymore. And we can make adjustments to this. Like maybe we want to get rid of some notes here. And then we could have variation one going. And we'll put variation one up here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab dank one. And we just simply, I think you just click drag. Yeah. I hold control out of habit. I don't know. I picked it up from FL, okay? When you clone stuff in FL Studio, you hold control. Uh, but now we have our pattern one, and then we'll put down our variation one up here as well. All right, so there's a couple cool tricks here. Let's go to variation one, and let me show you. Uh, cool trick number one, you're going to want to get familiar with this little mountain icon. It's your automation abilities. And you can do stepwise automation. So this is where you can adjust things like the velocity, like maybe you want the first kick to be a bit louder and the, the last kick to be a bit louder. So you can do accents a lot more specifically. Accents, the accent up here is just for convenience. But you also have the ability to do these repeats. So if we go to the hi-hats, for example, I can have, for example, this, this first hi-hat play two notes in the space of one, and this last one play maybe three. And so we could do stuff like that really conveniently. They've also got probability and delay. And these are cool and all, like there's a chance that your note will play. So you can get like really fancy with maybe a continuously varying drum loop. But there's another thing in here that's just so dang cool. 
And it's the answer to something I was looking at how to do. I wanted to know how do I uh, pitch things up and down? Because as it stands right now, there's not a straightforward way to do pitch, uh, which I really hope gets added in the future. But you can click these three icons and they'll bring up everything that can be automated inside of here. And so we could just scroll through here. We are on what pad is this? I don't even know. Is there a way for me to tell it what pad I'm on? Anyways, we can come in here and we could go to pad and then sample transpose, sample tune. There's also one in here for pitch envelope, velocity to pitch. Let's run with that one. So I'm going to add that and it will add it on here. And what I can do is now when these play, I can have, for example, these pitch up. And then I want these to stay back, stay back down where you, where thou were. We come down and back up. So you can do some pretty dang cool things. Like this is really groovy. So you want to be aware of the mountainous icon and you can add up more rows of this. You don't need to have just one. So definitely keep your eyes on the mountainous icon. If you want to do a, more than one at a time, like if you want to see multiple, you just hit this little plus icon and you can go ahead and scroll through them independently. Definitely be aware of the three dots. The three dots are the key to really getting something really cool groove in here. And you have your standard controls, like you can solo things, mute things, all your standard stuff. You can make an endless amount of patterns pretty much however you want, super straightforward here. And that's that's really the, the pattern editor, like that's it. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day.